Hello, today we are going to speak about pollution and the environment. And by the end of the lesson, uh, you will be able to understand a program about an environmental problem and learn many new words. So, first of all, new words. Throw away. Repeat after me, please. Throw away. Throw away. Выбрасывать. Bury. Bury. Хоронить. Палут. Палут. Загрязнять. Reuse. Reuse. Повторно использовать. Waste. Waste. Тратить, выбрасывать. Recycle. Recycle. Перерабатывать. Destroy. Destroy. Уничтожать, разрушать. Burn. Burn. Сжигать. Poison. Poison. Отравлять. Save. Save. Спасать, сохранять. So, write out these words into your diaries, into your vocabularies and learn. Now, we are going to work with the text a plastic problem. Choose the correct word. Listen and check. So, choice number one. Throw away or bury. Choice number two. Pollute or reuse. Choice number three. Waste or recycle. Choice number four. Destroy or reuse. Choice number five. Burn or poison. Choice number six, poisons or saves. Choice number seven, bury or pollute. Now listen and check. Track 1.9, Unit 1, Vocabulary and Listening. Exercise 1. A plastic problem. People use a lot of plastic bags and they often throw away the bags afterwards. They don't often reuse or recycle them. When we destroy plastic, we pollute the land or air. It isn't a good idea to burn plastic because it poisons the atmosphere. The alternative is to bury it, but some plastic doesn't decompose for over a thousand years. That was exercise number one. Now, let's pass down to the next exercise. Read the information about Rebecca Hosking. Order sentences. Please order the sentences. Now listen and check. Track 1.10 Unit 1. Vocabulary and Listening. Exercises 3 and 4. Hello and welcome to SOS Environment. Today we are in a pretty seaside town in the south of England. We continue our radio series with The Battle of the Bags. Rebecca Hosking lives near the coast in the south of England. When she saw how plastic was affecting marine life, she decided to do something. This is the story of a young woman who decided to change people's ideas. Rebecca Hosking is a professional camera woman who lives near the sea. She loves the sea and sea animals, but she was shocked and upset whilst she was filming a wildlife documentary in the Pacific because she saw how many animals were dying because of all the plastic in the sea. People throw away plastic, but they don't think about where it goes. Unfortunately, too much plastic goes into the sea, 
and there are now millions of tons of plastic in our oceans. Sometimes animals, such as seabirds, for example, think that it's food and they eat it. It poisons them. They also play with pieces of plastic and they get inside bags, but then they can't escape from them. In Rebecca's opinion, we don't recycle enough, and we use too much plastic and too many plastic bags. She decided to do something about plastic bags in her home town. First, she spoke to the council, but they were too busy. Then she spoke to everybody in the town who had a shop and told them how plastic was polluting the sea. She organised a meeting with the shopkeepers, and they all discussed the problem. They agreed that the problem was serious enough, so they talked to everyone in the town. They decided to stop using plastic bags, but they needed something new. So now all the shops in the town sell cloth bags, which are better because people can reuse them. Rebecca's town is the first place in Britain where there are no plastic bags. Nobody will give you a plastic bag thanks to Rebecca. When there are enough people interested in an environmental problem, then it's possible to change things. If you want to know more about the Battle of the Bags or how you can help with other environmental problems in your town, look at our website. So, you have listened to the information about Rebecca Hosking. Now, order sentences A from D and uh, from A to D and uh, put down them into the correct order according to the text. Поставьте предложение в нужном порядке согласно прослушанного текста. You may listen to the text twice. Вы можете еще раз прослушать это, этот текст. Now the next task. Track 1.10, Unit 1, Vocabulary and Listening, Exercises 3 and 4. So, you are going to listen to a text again and write true or false sentences. Please try to correct the false sentences. Вам необходимо написать предложение правильное или неправильное ли. Если предложение вы считаете неправильное, постарайтесь исправить его. Correct the false sentence. Listen, please. Hello and welcome to SOS Environment. Today we are in a pretty seaside town in the south of England. We continue our radio series with The Battle of the Bags. Rebecca Hosking lives near the coast in the south of England. When she saw how plastic was affecting marine life, she decided to do something. This is the story of a young woman who decided to change people's ideas. Rebecca Hosking is a professional camerawoman who lives near the sea. She loves the sea and sea animals, but she was shocked and upset whilst she was filming a wildlife documentary in the Pacific because she saw how many animals were dying because of all the plastic in the sea. People throw away plastic, but they don't think about where it goes. Unfortunately, too much plastic goes into the sea, and there are now millions of tons of plastic in our oceans. Sometimes animals, such as seabirds for example, think that it's food and they eat it. It poisons them. They also play with pieces of plastic and they get inside bags, but then they can't escape from them. In Rebecca's opinion, we don't recycle enough and we use too much plastic and too many plastic bags. She decided to do something about plastic bags in her home town. First, she spoke to the council, but they were too busy. Then she spoke to everybody in the town who had a shop and told them how plastic was polluting the sea. She organised a meeting with the shopkeepers and they all discussed the problem. 
They agreed that the problem was serious enough, so they talked to everyone in the town. They decided to stop using plastic bags, but they needed something new. So now all the shops in the town sell cloth bags, which are better because people can reuse them. Rebecca's town is the first place in Britain where there are no plastic bags. Nobody will give you a plastic bag thanks to Rebecca. When there are enough people interested in an environmental problem, then it's possible to change things. If you want to know more about the Battle of the Bags or how you can help with other environmental problems in your town, look at our website. So you have listened to the text uh, again, and now write true or false, and correct the false sentences. Listen to a reporter in Rebecca's town. What was different a year later? And now write out the things she mentions. Еще раз прослушайте текст и выпишите те слова и выражения, которые присутствовали в тексте. Track 1.11. Unit 1. Vocabulary and listening. Exercise 5. We decided to return to Rebecca Hosking's town a year after she started fighting the bags. Here's Tina Rowan our correspondent from the town of Modbury. What's different in the town today, Tina? Hello there. Well, to start with, it's impossible to find a plastic shopping bag anywhere. But the most important thing is that people are looking for other ways of getting rid of plastic and other dangerous products. As Rebecca Hosking says, bags are only a very, very small part of the problem. Shopkeepers are replacing plastic packaging with brown paper bags. They're doing this for things like plastic sandwich boxes. Glass bottles are replacing plastic ones. You can buy green washing powder in cardboard boxes now. The main thing is that people are trying to change their habits and they're talking about it. So. You may listen to the text once again and write out the things she mentions. Track one point. So today the lesson. You have learned new words on the topic pollution. You have listened to the talk about the environment and done some tasks.